Hello and welcome to a new series of OpenTap Lightning videos. In this series, we are going to be looking at how to build a simple graphical user interface called the operator GUI that is able to select a test plan, run it, and then view the results and verdicts. This is going to be a multi-part series where we build the graphical user interface from start to finish. So look forward to the upcoming videos and let's get started. Before we look at the details of the operator GUI, let us revisit the OpenTap architecture. This will allow us to understand where the operator GUI fits in into the architecture. In the past lightning videos, we have seen various details of test steps, DUTs, instruments, as well as result listeners. We have yet to see in more detail about user interfaces. User interfaces collectively represent the different ways of interacting with the OpenTab engine. In the past videos, we have seen several examples of using the CLI, which is the command line interface, as well as the editor. Some of the other ways of interacting with the OpenTab engine is by building a custom graphical user interface or an operator GUI. This is what we are going to be looking at in this series. In this first intro video, we are going to be looking at what the operator GUI looks like and what its functionality is. We will then discuss why it is called an operator GUI. Finally, we will go into a brief overview of how we are going to be building this and how this series is going to be structured. In the next videos, we will get started with the code. So let's take a look at the GUI. This is what the operator GUI looks like. It is a very simple GUI that has a few fields and a couple of buttons. The functionality is also pretty straightforward. The user can select a test plan. They can then run it and then view the results and verdict after the test plan is completed. They can also abort the test plan while it is being run. Let's take a look at an example test plan that is being run using the operator GUI. Next, let's talk about why it is called an operator GUI. This GUI is representative of many GUIs that are typically used in production or manufacturing of devices where the operator is responsible for running a test plan, a predefined test plan on a device and then classifying the device based on the results and the verdicts that the test plan produces. This is a slight oversimplification, but it captures the basics of what an operator GUI typically does. Now that we've covered the feel and functionality of the operator GUI, let's talk a little bit about how we are going to build it. I will be creating a GUI based application using the WPF framework. This will talk to the OpenTap engine by using the C -sharp SDK to select and run test plans. I will be using Visual Studio for the development of this application. The point of this series is not to go into depth about aspects of WPF, but focus more on the integration of the application with OpenTap Engine using the C Sharp SDK. For this reason, I will gloss over some aspects of the UI code and use code snippets for quickly building the GUI elements whenever required and focus more on the C Sharp API calls that are made to interact with the OpenTap engine. 
I will also be releasing the final source code of the operator GUI in GitLab so that you can use it as is or you can use it as a starting point for building your own custom operator GUIs. To summarize, this series is going to be about building a simple graphical user interface called an operator GUI. This GUI can select a test plan, run it, and then view the results and look at the verdicts. This uses the C Sharp SDK for interacting with the OpenTab engine. In the next video, we are going to be creating our project and setting up all our dependencies and creating some basic elements of the GUI. Stay tuned and see you in the next video.